delighted to meet you. So tell us uh, a little about yourself. Okay, I'm coming from Republic of Moldova. Uh, I am an assistant professor at the Department of uh, Microbiology. And uh, my background is bacteriology, and but uh, teaching at the department uh, all the uh, fields of uh, microbiology. So I'm a medical uh, background. And, uh, coming here to do research in molecular biology. Okay, I'm uh, uh, working at the Uni State University of Medicine and Pharmacy from the Republic of Moldova. It's the only uh, university that is uh, preparing the future medical doctors. Lovely. Yeah. And I know that there's quite a bit of collaboration with the um, Molecular Virology Lab in Trieste. So uh, what are you actually working on, your research project? Okay. Uh, to come to Trieste to ICGB, you should become a member state first. Uh, so Moldova became a member state of ICGB in uh, March 2019. Then in uh, February 2020, the pandemic of COVID started, and uh, we uh, found out that uh, Professor Marcello was the first one who sequenced uh, COVID uh, in North Italy. We invited him in April 2020 as a guest to have a state-of-the-art lecture at our university. And after that, the collaboration basically started. So we we are planning to apply for a project to Friuli Venezia Giulia, which uh, has the aim to strengthen the capacity surveillance of uh, COVID-19 in the Republic of Moldova. Uh, later on, uh, we discussed to apply for a fellowship, uh, a short-term fellowship in the field. So in September 2020, I applied for a short-term fellowship at the PhD level, Arturo Palaski Fellowship, and they got it also. <laughs> so step by step, we started to extend our collaboration. We had uh, Professor Marcello a couple of times as a guest, invited guest, to give some lectures uh, for us so that we uh, get know-how, knowledge from uh, uh, international uh, country and the developed country in order to strengthen the capacity to fight with uh, uh, infectious uh, agents. So uh, uh, the aim of the, our project uh, uh, was to um, isolate RNA virus uh, from patients from Republic of Moldova to sequence to in order to know what kind of strains are circulating on the territory of the Republic of Moldova. But the project I applied for the fellowship was to study the immune response to infection. So in the end, we combined all these uh, objectives and we de developed a more uh, wide uh, project, uh, uh, which uh, I started to work on uh, in uh, June 2021. I came here for three months, uh, worked hard to learn the protocols because um, what I learned here, uh, we, we didn't have yet uh, a virology facility in my university. So uh, basically I started from uh, very few uh, knowledge in the molecular virology techniques. And uh, uh, I uh, firstly learned the protocols, how to handle with uh, cell lines, how to um, construct or to produce a pseudovirus that could be used in PSL2 conditions, which we are thinking to apply later on in my country. So uh, uh, basically I'm working in studying the uh, COVID uh, infection, the humoral immune response, and uh, also to sequence and to understand how to analyze the data of the uh, viral isolates. That's very exciting and really cutting edge. And can I ask your impression uh, and your experience in coming to Trieste, coming to Italy, coming to this laboratory, what you'll be taking home with you? <laughs> it was a wonderful experience, let's say. Uh, summer was hard because uh, it was a kind of adaptive period. Uh, you come to a new place, uh, you come to new people, even the people here are very welcoming, really very welcoming and very warm and you feel like in a family, you don't feel a stranger here. But uh, being far from your family, being far from your country, being uh, far from your duties, it takes a time, it's a stressful period. But um, 
in the end uh, you can uh, learn from the best uh, and you can build up your network uh, in order to continue collaborating with the people and at any point in your life you can uh, ask uh, if you don't know where to find the information or your, uh, something is not clear to you. You have the people in the field to communicate with and to get the uh, options or ideas about uh, the results you obtain or uh, uh, also to uh, develop and to improve your capacity in the research direction. So uh, coming from a country where you don't have uh, much possibility to do a quality, uh, uh, high level research, uh, the International Center of uh, Genetic and Biotechnology it gave us a really uh, nice opportunity uh, to to improve uh, your uh, skills at a really high level. And uh, coming back home, I'm pretty sure that I'm, I will be able to implement uh, uh, the protocols I learned here. And uh, as people say, okay, you can build your own molecular virology facility <laughs> because you already have, uh, let's say, uh, the rock, a small rock uh, from your bigger house. So rock by rock, you can uh, develop uh, your uh, uh, you, uh, your lab and uh, to continue uh, doing research in your own country. So this is wonderful experience. I'm really happy for the great opportunity I had and for, for all the people I met here and uh, for all the knowledge I acquired because it was a, a hard year but full of uh, new experiences that for sure made me more stronger in the field of in regard of research, so I'm very grateful for this opportunity. Well, thank you very much. We're very grateful for this beautiful testimonial that you've given us today. Thank we wish you all the best with your ongoing the research. Same to you. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much.